this is the last one for this Friday. Let me kind of get my little self organized here. This is bigger than the others. This is a grunge journal. It's uh, got a real, it, I made it, I used a gray fabric behind, and this is actually a vintage bedspread. I got it at a state sale. And the stain, it was all stained up, bless its heart, it, but it was gorgeous. So I used that, and I kept the edge on where I could. This is cut, but um, on the front cover is a pretty couple. It's got some crochet doily here, and a little piece of filigree with a little piece of white fabric to make it behind it to make it stand out. And then this is um, a flower with a little Swarovski crystal. And then we have different flowers here, um, made out of lace, and um, all the way to here. A little mother of pearl button, and then a little heart charm here and here. And this is a mother of pearl bird bead, and a little vintage button. So it's got a lot going on, but it sure is pretty. And oh, going inside, did I measure? No, gosh, at least I remember it this time. It measures nine and a half by five and a half. So it's a it's a nice one. Big. Huge. All the now I left the pocket just with the fabric as is. I coffee stained it, but I left it as is because I figure old is not gonna have very much, but um I don't know, it just had this going on here and I thought that really looks vintage to me, so I left it. In this pocket, we have got uh, a card here with some laces and flowers. And you can store things here. You can store things here. Got a lot of laces and ephemera and stamps going on. Fabric. Another pocket storage here lady washing clothes with a little girl. Pretty image. These are nice lace pockets. And then some of that French lesson book where she wrote on it. I thought that was kind of pretty. I love that kind of stuff. Oh, we don't want to cover up her face. There we go. And it probably needs to be higher because the pocket. All these pages have been torn, um, inked up, coffee dyed, stamped, um, all kinds of stuff. This has got lace and cheesecloth and some little images there. And you can see the, the edge, the edging going on. Got an image here, and this is, I have this really old, um, this man, he must have been a reporter back in the uh, late 40s, early 50s, because um, I've seen some 19... 46, 7, and up to 1950 in his the stash that I got. It was on the floor of his closet. And some of them are so old that as soon as you touch it, it crumbles. So I thought, okay, let's put some some going on the page. I kind of like how it, how it looks, so I'm not wasting anything. Nice journal page to write on with the stamping and the staining. More stamping and staining. Part of a book page there. Again, the edges are all done. Got a pocket here made out of the bedspread, just like the cover. A uh, little vintage style with a little cloth bow. And more pages to write on. That's from a Funkin' Wagnalls book. A little tuck spot here with a flower and a little tag. Piece of ephemera there. And it opens up with extra pages, different sizes. And then the back has got uh, part of a newspaper bottom part and then that. And part of a book there. I just use fragments off my table that, you know, because um, I love doing that. And then we've got uh, some lined paper here. Absolutely love using what I have. Did y'all get to see that? I had the book back. And again, the torn edge. Over here is a double 
um, it's a tuck spot here. It's made. It, these are from Ava at Bohemian Crafting. These little types of envelopes. This is one I made, and it's got two little mini, two little minis. Too cute. And then um, part of that French book where that lady wrote some music paper, the stamping and the inking. What's going on? And then you have the rest of the page to journal on. Over here is another pretty image of a family. And a tuck spot. It's their tuck spot. Um, opens up this way. Got uh, some vintage catalog paper. Some ephemera with a bow, a pretty bow. Over here is Eos, um, a price clothing ticket, and a claim check up here with some lace card there. Love that. And then an envelope with a little mini image and. Um, little image over here off to the side with um, some talk, heavily coffee dyed lace here and crochet doily and some little rosettes. Extra uh, place to write here with, you could even write on that. Got one of these definition cards. I got a book that just lists all that so I've been making little cards with that. Kokomo God, they used to have the best onion rings. That was 50 years ago. And I still remember their onion rings. <laughs> they had hamburgers and things like that too, but their onion rings, I guess, I think they dipped them in ice cream, but they were crunchy. I mean, super duper crunchy. Those were the days. Little uh, fabric ruffle here. Little tuck spot here with a newspaper background, some cheesecloth. And an image. And then this, you can, it's just held on with a brad and you can move it up to write on. And on this side, I just put this image here. Um, but the rest is the newspaper. Got part of that catalog, some laces, just some different things kind of staggering down in, the, in an L shape with the rosettes. Plenty of writing space. Over here is, again, that bedspread that I used for the cover, and it's got some images here, a little safety pin, a little claim check that you can use for a tuck spot if needed. Over here is, I love this vintage card. It's got part of a crocheted doily and um, a Rolodex card. And again, this without the picture, this you can get at Ava at Bohemian Crafting. You've got some writing space back here with some extra pieces of paper attached to the page. Another tuck spot over here with some fabrics and music. And then this is just different uh, cuts of paper and ephemera and some laces and a little, little mini button with a pretty picture. Over here, I didn't want to uh, waste the space. I put um, an image of a building and then I put some lined paper here for journaling. And same here. This is part of that Funkin' Wagnalls book with a pretty image and then some extra lined paper there. And um, the rosettes. This is a big piece of that um, letter that that man had stashed in his closet. And this Way do you go? Go this way. Okay. Got a rosette here and some cheesecloth and a pretty image on a vintage piece of book page with extra pages here. And then it opens up this way for extra journaling. Some lined paper there. Part of that vintage paper with stamping and inking and yumminess. Over here is a piece of lace with a flower and a piece of ephemera. I used the big sheet. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Tried to warn you it was coming. <laughs> but um, I used a big sheet of that Funkin' Wagnalls book that I heavily copy dyed, and when I tore it, the edges were, 
the original color of the book. So I thought, okay, we'll leave that. That's kind of cool. And then got a butterfly here with a little piece of ephemera and some cheesecloth. And it opens up with extra writing paper. Nice piece of cardstock for the back. Give it a little bit more security. This is a Tim Holtz um, card that I've had in my stash. I thought I'd use him up. Love the mustache. And then I put part of that bedspread here with a little piece of lace and then the card behind it. And this is out of one of my German books. I love the font they use. I'm sure there's some significance to that, but I don't know what it is. Another piece of newspaper here. Little piece of music there. This is a little tuck spot if you want. Or you could just leave it as a pretty. Another little mini notebook here. Lots of lots of different pages. Extra writing. Piece of fabric and cheesecloth with part of that uh, book. I mean book. That stuff that I got at that estate sale. This old paper. Little music tag here with a picture of a bookstore. I think that's one of my favorite images. Over here is some ephemera. I punched this out of a... Um, I don't know. I don't know what you used it for. Uh, but it was paper and I punched a hole in it. Punched the flower in it. I put... Uh, book page back there that's part of the bed skirt that I used on the cover and a little piece of ephemera. And then the pocket back here. I just love the way it looks. I did not want to put anything on it. I just thought it was so vintage looking. And this is your writing board that you can put wherever need be to use it for writing. You know? Onto. So it gives you a nice firm surface in case you have some bumpy bumps, you know, caused by all the extra tchotchkes, like here. You could put that back there and that would make it a little bit firmer. So I put that in the back. That's also Ava at Bohemian Crafting. She's got a lot of nice graphics and you just can't help but, but love her. She's just so cute. And I do believe that is all the journals I have for this week. If I don't see you before Christmas, have a merry one. And uh, enjoy time with your family and loved ones. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.